Giasas, que Carlos Irzate, which means hello and welcome in Greek to another episode of Dimitra's Dishes. Today, I'm going to teach you how to make a delicious breakfast recipe that is perfect for brunch or even for a quick, a quick <laughs> for, or even for a quick weeknight dinner. It comes together in like 15, 20 minutes. I'm going to teach you how to make eggs with peppers, tomatoes, and pasturma. I made a pasturma pie, a pasturma and filo pie, just a few episodes ago, and I'll link that up here if you haven't watched it because it's so easy and delicious, you'll definitely want to make it. If you cannot find pasturma, pasturma is basically like a dry cured beef that's sold in specialty stores like me that sell Mediterranean and Middle Eastern produce. That's the, really the only way, place you're going to find it. It's common in Turkish cuisine, Greek cuisine, and even Middle Eastern cuisine, so you'll find it there. If you can't find it, substitute gyro meat. You could substitute some pastrami. That would be great too. Let's get started making this recipe. So I have these small peppers here. You can use a large bell pepper, any color. I'm going to cut the tip off and take the seeds out. And I'm just going to cut this into pieces. They don't have to be fancy. You can just cut them into bite-sized pieces. Next, I have these tomatoes from my backyard. You can use canned tomato if you don't have really sweet, fresh tomatoes. You're going to need half a can, so about eight ounces of fresh tomatoes will do, or eight ounces of canned tomatoes. But if you're growing tomatoes right now, it's summertime, they're going to be super sweet. And here's a tip, when you're growing tomatoes and you get them from your backyard, do not refrigerate them. They're going to have maximum flavor if you keep them on the counter and eat them fresh. They're going to be so sweet and fragrant. Now I'm going to put about four to five tablespoons of olive oil in my pan. And I'm going to put all of the tomatoes and bell peppers in there. Season with a little pinch of salt. And these are going to cook over medium heat for about six to seven minutes or until they're nice and soft. In the meantime, I'm going to take my pasturma and I'm just going to cut it into chunks. Now you can put as much or as little as you want. And I like to separate it. This is the first time I bought this one. The other day, I usually buy this from my local uh, Middle Eastern grocery store that's right down the road. And they don't have a big variety. Whatever pasturma they have, I just pick it up and I bring it home. But the other day we went downtown to uh, Phoenicia. It's, if you're in Houston and you live near the Westheimer area, I'm like a kid in a candy store in there. First of all, I find all of the chocolate that we eat in Greece. So many different varieties of pasturma and cheeses. It's just amazing. So this is the marbled one, and I bought it for the first time. It just looks really nice. I'm just going to cut it just into big chunks like this, and I'm, I'm just going to keep it separate because when I put it in the pan, I don't want it to kind of stick together. A little bit goes a long way. This has so much flavor. It's salty, and it's a little bit spicy. There we go, that's ready. So once the tomatoes start to break down and the peppers are nice and getting really nice and soft, it's time to add the pasturma. And we're just gonna cook this through for just a few seconds, really. Oh my God, once the pasturma hits the pan, it just smells amazing. That's good enough. Now I like to add some harissa paste in this. Now harissa paste is a paste that's made with roasted red pepper and spices. You could find it in the Middle Eastern section of the grocery store or in a specialty food store that sells Mediterranean and Middle Eastern products. I'm going to add, I like it a lot, so I'm going to add about three or four tablespoons. If you can't find it, you can definitely leave it out. And instead you could add some of my red pepper and feta dip. I'll link that up above and you could add that in here. I'm just going to mix this around and let it cook, let it just like come to a boil and cook down for just a minute. And I'm just going to give the sauce a little bit of a taste. We're also going to add feta cheese to it, which is also salty, so you don't want to add too much salt to it. Mmm, it's perfect. It doesn't need any salt. But I do want to make it a tiny bit spicier, so I'm going to add some crushed red pepper flakes. You don't have to do this. You can do black pepper instead or just leave it as it is. And now I'm going to add the feta cheese cubes that I've cubed up. You can literally take this out right now and um, once the cheese warms through a little bit, put it in a bowl and toast some bread and serve this as a mezze or a nice appetizer. It is delicious. But we're going to make eggs with this. So I'm going to take some egg, one egg at a time. And you can crack them directly into the pan, but it is better to do it in a little ramekin. First of all, it hardly ever happens, but it can. You could get a bad egg or you can risk it breaking. So I'm just going to transfer it. I'm going to make little wells in the sauce first. And then I'm going to put four eggs in here. Then I have some scallions that I always keep in my freezer. These are chopped scallions. If you have fresh ones, go ahead and thinly chop one or two scallions and then just sprinkle them on top. 
I like to chop mine up and freeze them just so that way they never go bad. I like to buy big batches of everything. Then go ahead and put the lid on top and cook it over medium heat until the eggs, until the whites are nice and set and the yolk is still a little bit runny. You can cook it all the way through it, just however you like it, that's how you should cook it. It usually takes about four to five minutes and the eggs should be ready. So I toasted some pita bread in the meantime, homemade pita bread. If you have not made my homemade pita, you are missing out. Ever since I made that recipe, I have never bought a single pita from outside again. And I'll put that recipe, that link up here in the card section up above. It is ready. Now I like my eggs, I like for the whites to be set. And keep in mind that they are gonna continue to cook from the heat of the sauce. So take it off the heat if you like your yolk a little bit runny, a little bit early. Don't let it cook too much. If you like them fully cooked, then no problem. It'll take probably about eight minutes for them to cook in the sauce over medium heat. It is time to take a bite. Make sure I get a little bit of pastuma, a little bit of egg, some peppers. Oh my God. I have to dip the bread in the sauce too. So good. If you're doing low carb, Leave the bread out, make a salad, and this is gonna be so satisfying and delicious. Before this, I thought that my spinach and my spinach and feta and eggs, I thought that was my favorite egg dish. This has definitely stole first base or first pri first prize. <laughs> so flavorful. The, the harissa paste added the perfect amount of spiciness. The tomatoes melted and created this beautiful sauce. The bell peppers add nice, a little nice touch of sweetness to it. The eggs are perfectly cooked, and when you when you cut into them and that yolk runs, it just adds to the sauciness of it. And the pastelma is really nice and flavorful. It's like, in Greek you say picantico. <laughs> I don't know how to translate that. There must be a word. It's like a little bit spicy, salty, just delicious. I think you guys are gonna love it. If you cannot find the pasturma, then try to put in some sausage. Again, like I said, you could use gyro meat instead. The recipe with all of the measurements and ingredients is gonna be in the description box down below. Let me know what you guys think and if you wanna learn how to make another delicious egg recipe for breakfast or brunch, click on this link right here and, I'll, and then I'll see you right over there. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I'll see you all next time. Yes, us. Oh my God, this is so good.